Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We're checking out some more PSVR demo goodness, and I have a new test subject with me today. How's it going, Ryan? VR Virgin. Yes, he's going to actually try this out, and obviously, but being a VR Virgin, we don't know yet if he's going to vomit. So just off of camera, we oh. do have the throw-up bucket ready to rock and roll. Well, that's reassuring. Thank you. It doesn't make everybody sick, but it's usually you, usually people are a little bit awkward or uncomfortable their first time. So we're going to, what would you, have you, so you've never tried a VR, have you even tried the Gear VR? Nope. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting experience for you because we're oh, going to... Oh, wait. I played the Virtual Boy when I was about 12. That doesn't really count. That doesn't count at all, really. So, um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to actually get you on to the PlayStation VR and we're going to throw you into the Kitchen demo, which was the uh, old uh, Resident Evil demo that came out before they announced the full game. So, uh, do you want to get the headset on and get ready and set up? And I'll actually just talk people through what we have actually done. Um, so, I've got to throw them in with the 3D audio and the actual headset on at the same time. It gives you the full immersion of a PSVR experience. It's just the fact that um, if, you're, if you're listening to the TV without the headphones on, you kind of still have a little bit of incongruity. But with the headphones on, some people find it reassuring and makes it more comfortable for them. Other people, a terrifying experience. And the last few people at the side, it just makes them feel violently ill. So, we'll see how this goes. Wow. Can you see okay? Yeah, I think I'm in. I can still see light coming in, but I assume that's just... Yeah, have the, do you want me to turn on the headset now so you can see properly? There you go. I can see that you're lit up anyway. Oh yeah, that blocks it all out now. Well, grab your headphones and I'll wire you up. So basically the headset, whenever you hook it up to a pair of headphones, gives you um, the sense of 3D audio, which is really, really convenient because uh, the, unless you have a 3D like surround sound system in your room, this will actually simulate the sound of like looking left and right, which even works in the theater mode, which is kind of cool. Uh, the theater mode being the um, uh, the mode that you use for like watching Crunchyroll or movies or Blu-rays or any games that are PS4 but not for PS VR specifically, where it's just a massive screen. It's really, really good. It actually makes it feel like a cinema experience whenever you're sitting enjoying it. So here you go. This controller in hand. <laughs> you can't see a thing. All right, so we just press uh, X for kitchen. So is the screen showing up okay for you in the front? Yeah, there's right. some light coming through here. Uh, well, I mean, if the if, if, yeah, like it happens, matter because you need to set that distance so it doesn't look blurry for you. So yeah. like a little light leak's not too bad. I Although you, if you really wanted, we could just gaffer tape it to your face instead. Yeah, I think maybe the the light might be reassuring. Maybe it'll <laughs> let me know more. I know where I am. I'm not really there. And I've already been to the toilet. So, yeah. <laughs> so you're sure you're not going to actually like spring a leak in the middle of this? I got air sick one time in all my years and my mom never lets me forget it. <laughs> so yeah, just a uh, pop into it on, um, uh, what, essentially English movies would be grand. Should there be any audio yet or? Not yet. There shouldn't be any yet. Am I seven feet away from it? You should be, yeah. I mean, it's recognizing your movement. So uh, lean closer, I mean, be the actual situation. There oh, there it is. I sit forward in your chair slightly. Oh. So you... All right, there you go. <laughs> Camera right from my... Just X, I guess. I suppose, yeah, that would be what you would press. I'm starting to hear something. Look down at your control pad. Hmm? Look down at the control pad. Lift your control oh, pad up. That's um, awkward. Yeah. Reach around, touch stuff. Uh, oh, a heroin addict or something? <laughs> oh, see, there, that's the kind of thing that's going on with my crotch right now. I don't know if it's a rash or... <laughs> I don't want to go to a doctor. Like, This is kind of going to remind me of when I was playing Condemned and I was going around a barn in the middle of nowhere and I was expected to go into a basement and I was just like, nope, don't want to, quit in the game. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Yeah, that's what happens whenever you actually move stuff. Oh no, I'm tied up. Sorry. <laughs> oh. That's and me. Don't me. worry, I'm right here. That's what the only problem you're gonna have is. Hey. <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, it's a little bit unnerving, isn't it? <laughs> Don't want you anywhere near me. See, if you start swinging too far and you hit me with that, I'm going to maul you. <laughs> I'm trying to hit him. <laughs> well, he's bringing a knife over. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, hey what, what, what are you doing? What? He's going to tell you to cut it so you can cut out your thing. Uh, hey, what, what's with that thing? I, I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> 
Yeah, he didn't do a good job. He just broke the knife. Can I? Get the hell out of here! Don't point it towards me. Uh, 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 crazy bitch, crazy bitch. Uh, oh crap. Hey. She stabbed you in the leg. I'm assuming I can't grab this. <laughs> Just wanting to reach around and try. <sighs> yeah. I don't. I don't. Want, I don't want to look behind me. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fuck! And welcome to the world of horror and immersion. <laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> Thank you for playing. <laughs> You're not welcome. <laughs> Jesus, that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, probably terrifying, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I'm going to actually just give him a little bit of aftercare, a blanket, some orange juice, make sure everything's okay. Thank you very much for watching. I have to go and take care of this fearful person now. Uh, so thank you. Check out the trailers and check out the other stuff here on the channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and all the other things. I will see all you dudes in the next Fear Factor. Bye. <laughs>